Tuesday, welcome to the Lady Ball Show. I hope it was having a little technical issue, so I do apologize. So I want to say, first of all, thank you everyone who's coming in and going to watch this particular show, this particular broadcast. Everyone who's going to be watching the replay, I greatly appreciate it. I'm going to be like, giving some people some time to come in because I noticed different ones commented that they was going to come, um, was interested in joining the live broadcast. So I'm trying to get different ladies or gentlemen, you never know. Time to come in to watch, the, watch this particular show. I've been excited about this show, this episode. I'm excited about every single episode. But this particular episode, I'm excited because I went and pulled someone from a church family to join me on this, this episode four of the Lady Ball Show. And we've been having um, some good reviews of, of different ladies as that they have just, they just loved it. They have loved it so far and they just, um, enjoyed it, look forward to it. So I am, I'm excited. I'm just, I'm, I'm really excited. I learned to keep pushing, even when there's some technical issues, things going on. I don't let it bother me. I said, well, um, the show must go on anyhow. And if you know me, I'm your host. I'm the host of the creator of the Lady Ball Show. I am Ronnie Chanel. And let me go through my process. I have this little process group set up that I like to do before I actually bring my guests in. Now, I want to say again, I can't say welcome enough. So tonight on the Lady Ball Show, to give you a little clips, I'm going to be talking to a boss lady, an influential woman who believes in keeping it real and loves to be transparent with her community. Now, just in case this is your first time, because I know a lot of folks, a lot of women, a lot of folks, you haven't even seen her Lady Ball Show. You haven't even known this is the Becoming Her um, series. Just hey, this is new to you. This is the Becoming Her series. Let me tell you what this is all about. I'm going to be talking to women, chosen Jews, who are using their God given gifts. Their God given gifts to help transform the world through encouragement and empowerment. So if you would, those of you who are going to come in, if you're watching, if anyone has come in, I cannot see because of the little platform that I'm using. Feel free to share this broadcast out. If you haven't done so already, to your fans, followers, and your family. So they can come in and join us live on this particular broadcast. And so let me get let me make sure if anyone is watching, feel free to comment. Let us know what city and state that you're watching this from. Okay. So let me make sure. Yeah, my end is showing my eyes. So that's good. And so I'm going to let you know that this broadcast is being brought to you, being sponsored by Dash of Education Boutique. That's my boutique. It's a phase that we're on. And it's also being sponsored by Chanel Healthcare Services. So those are our sponsors. I want to give a shout out to, I want to give a shout out to, I said it last week, but I want to do it again to let you know we have an idea of where this particular show is being seen at. Everybody needs to know it's being local, it's overseas. No, it's actually being seen, seen around the world. But I can't. I don't have time to go through all the cities or all the countries. So let me just show you, go through the top eight. I'm going to shout out the top eight countries 
that this particular show has been seen is, of course, the United States. We shout out to Mexico, Puerto Rico, India. Oh my God, India. Nigeria, Italy, and also um, Canada. We actually went to Canada, I can't believe. And to, there's a new country called, when I checked the, the insights analytics, the United Kingdom. So shout out to the United Kingdom, um, the top cities, the top cities in, and I do this one that's coming up, we'll get to that first, I love the shout out. The top cities that has been watching this particular show is in New York City. Shout out to Eastern North Carolina to Wilson. Houston, Texas, um, and Chicago, Illinois is on the list. My goodness. And there's a switch. There's been a switcheroo. Greenville, North Carolina has been watching this show. Shout out to Greenville, North Carolina. Even, you know what? Greenville top Atlanta. I can't believe it. Greenville top Atlanta, Georgia. And they also top Las Vegas, Nevada, and Charlotte, North Carolina. So shout out to all those cities and those countries that has been checking us out, that has been sharing the book, that has been viewing us. I greatly appreciate it. I, got, I love to do shout outs and give people, um, when they show up, I'm going to show you love right back. So at the moment, we have it. I don't know if have time to come in. At the moment, we have um, Moon all the way from, she is from Gary, North Carolina. That's, that's a, oops, it popped off. That's one of the, I guess, I never seen the top supporters. But she's always supporting, so I am thankful for her coming in. That's my mom. <laughs> and I'm so glad to see all the way from Gary, North Carolina. And let me make sure, if I may, make sure I also share this as well. I don't want to tell you guys to do something, and I don't do it. So that's my shout out. I want to get to my guest. I want to get to my guest. I want to bring, I want to bring her to the point where you guys can see. But let me tell you a little bit of something. I wanted to show a video of what she did. I love videos on Facebook and I love videos on Instagram. But I didn't have time to, I didn't have time. The little technical features I was having didn't allow me to show the video, but it's okay. I'm going to have a couple of links for you guys to go to her out on her Instagram, on her Facebook. Because this young lady is amazing. She is totally amazing. That's why I said I have to have her up here. I have to work on this show. You are so um, funny. Yes, so sweet. I feel that she is an individual woman. And that's what the coming her series is all about. It's women that are willing to be transparent and share their and share with you um, how they are, are, are becoming who God is, has become at this point in their life. You know, we're not born at the top. No one's like come out of my school, like I'm a superstar automatically unless you are like John the Baptist or Jesus. <laughs> mm -hmm. But everybody else, we have made, we have to be fashion, we have to go through some stuff. So every woman that you will see on the show, she would do something. Mm -hmm. But even if she would do it, look at her now. Mm -hmm. And so these are the things that I want to feature on my show that people need to hear this, need to have their their practice. They need to be to, to talk and to be comfortable over, you know, telling your story. Don't be ashamed of your testimony. Mm -hmm. So the young lady that I'm talking to, she's an influential woman who has truly, truly have been on a journey. She's a motivation speaker. And she is a, she's a creator and the host of Couch Combos. And what's well, Combos, but we know it's conversation. I like uh -huh. how she abbreviated it. It's combos. <laughs> <laughs> and I love, like I said before, I love her videos. Her videos and her on, on Instagram and on Facebook. Oh my God. I be laughing. She does support it all the time. I'm watching it all the time because she's always got something to, to say that will kind of open your eyes. That's what she always does and make you feel like, wow. Uh, like, hey, hey, look, this is, this is what I'm going through. This is what it is. Whether you like it or not, take it away. That's how I see her. So the one, I feel like I'm in church. The one I, I'm getting her <laughs> is Miss Shakira. Shackleford. Isn't yes. the dead show? 
That's Hello. my guest. Hello, dear. And so, I'm like, I couldn't hear you. Say that again. I said, hello, dear. <laughs> she is, that is, that is, that is your lady right here. It's my church family. And she we connected with, and it just, it's kind of like, ash together. And I just love her spirit. I love everything about her. And so I definitely wanted to kind of have, have you on this particular show. So she here to start off by saying, let me start off this way by saying, tell us a little bit about this. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So tell you a bit about myself. Well, my name is Shakira. Um, I'll be 30 this year. Really excited about that. Almost 30. Hashtag. Um, I have two boys and I'm, you know, I'm human. Um, I don't really know how much, I, I don't really know what else to say. I try to be a very um, straightforward, transparent person because I feel like that's what we need in the world. We need people who are more vulnerable, who are mm -hmm. more transparent about who they are um, because there's not much different about us if we look a little bit deeper. So that's it. <laughs> Now, also, now you're you're an educated woman. You recently graduated from ECU. Yeah. What are you majoring? So I graduated from ECU the year before last. Um, my major was criminal justice. Um, ironically, my mom, my mom, my late, my mother died um about eight years ago now, almost nine years. Um, her degree was also in criminal justice. And so I decided, well, you know, I'm flunking all my classes anyway. Let me just go ahead and get a degree. And so I ended up getting a degree in criminal justice. And I really love it. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll talk a little bit later on about the other directions that I'm going in. But my degree is in criminal justice. Oh, now that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I, 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 mean, I had a little bit of criminal justice, but I, I went to sports business. But yeah. that's, I like the, the forensic. Mm -hmm. Side of when it comes to that, I like I like this. But let's kind of let's stay focused on this track of work because okay. I want to kind of take time and dissect this thing. <laughs> Look, is this shared with people on my Facebook? It should be. You can share it. We take time to share. It. How do you share it? Let's. Oh, you know what? Let me handle that. Okay. And y'all, this is impromptu. This is girl talking. Yeah, this is. It happens. <laughs> Family. Let me make sure we can share it because I know it's showing up here. So Shakira, I'm gonna tag you into it, and it's just show up on your Facebook page. Okay. And I hope you got the notification on your end. Mm -mm. Is it okay if I close out of this and go check, or how does that work? I'm not sure if it will say if okay. it will stay open if you do so. Okay, okay. But right now, I think we're slowly kind of kind of in. I can't see on my end. It's a little delay on my. But I, I thank you into it. Let me see, since I'm friends with you, let me check to make sure for you. Okay. Cause just because I know you don't want to okay. close that up. Make sure it shows on your end. Okay. Well, do you have to Yeah, it's up. Okay, good. Good. Okay, I see yeah, it. Okay. I tag you into it. And I did it's going up to you before. Ladies, those of okay. you who are in, I guess it's here. That's just in case you like the introduction, when you're going to get to know her more, um, she's here. And also, please share the broadcast out to your, your friends or community as well so we can get more people to, to know Shakira because she's a motivational speaker. And I want people to get to know her, get to, get to know this young boy. And so, it's on your, it's on your page. So they should be coming in. Okay. okay. And so, when you, let me, let me ask you, when you were growing up in the the early years, mm -hmm. have you always been on the outspoken young lady when you were a little girl? 
Girl, yes. Always. <laughs> I, I have always been a character. Like, when I was little, I used to watch the stories and Young and the Restless with my grandma all the time. And yes. I used to pretend that me and Victor Newman was like, you know, a thing when I was little because that's what what we did. Um, but I've mm-hmm. always been the kind of person who's been a dreamer, who's been um, kind of mouthy. That's kind of always my personality. I'm the youngest of four with my mom. So I'm the baby. Mm-hmm. So I get my way and I get to say whatever I want to say and don't nobody say nothing. So I've always been, oh, out of yeah. all my mom's kids, I'm probably the most mouthy. I'm probably the one who will like fly off a handle the most. So yeah, I'm really? much, I've always been this way. But you're not spoiled anything. Like, you know, you know babies are like spoiled. I ain't spoiled. Now I do like stuff my way. I, don't know <laughs> yeah. I could be though. I don't know. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a baby. So I got that too. Because it's oh, like yeah. babies like this well. I guess by the time you know, for, for me, the, the mom is like tired. Yeah. With the yeah. So now, so you just like yeah, yeah, you get what you want to do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, and then you know, let me make sure I highlight with you. I do see Dina has joined us. Hey, she Dina. Said, Thank you for being so Dina. supportive. As, Dina is so the, supportive. I'll be like highlighting your comments and shout you out because I, I love to do that. I love to give attention to those who watch us live and those who comment. Feel free to tell us what city or state that you're watching us from and make sure you share this out as well because it's going to be some giveaways that we we'll talk about later. And I know she's going to have one, but she's going to be speaking on. Now, did you want to talk about that now? About your giveaway? Or did you want to wait? Well, that's up to you. That's, I'm, hey, you move out. <laughs> that's up to you. Okay, we'll, we'll ask you another question and then okay. we'll, we'll get, do the giveaway. Okay. okay. So let's let's talk about your journey. Okay. Now, everyone knows that those who, who are coming in late, she's a member of my church family. Mm-hmm. We belong to the same church. KCC. Um, I picked at your Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I can tell clearly that there has been a change in your life. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's been like a, a metaphor. There's been like you can just tell the Lord is just dealing yeah. with you. You tell yeah. the Lord how to deal with somebody yeah. because it will show there's yeah. something that cannot be done. Yeah. And so tell me, you know, tell us what was your your turning point moment when the when you know they say when the light bulb was off. Yeah. Well, you know, so when, I, when did that take place? I don't know. I'm the kind of person like my light bulb goes off a lot. So, you know, I'll, I, you know, I think, I think what happened for me was my mom died because for, before my, when my mom was alive, you know, she was helping me raise my son. I won't, I was clubbing and stuff and sleeping around. I won't try to be responsible. And I kind of relied on her as a crutch, mm-hmm. but she died of cancer. We found out in April she had cancer. Um, she died in May of 2011. So roughly a month after we found out she had cancer, she died. And it was kind of like, dang. You know, I got to get myself together. And so then I started going to church and I became a member of a church. And, um, Mm -hmm. but it, it just, it, it got to a point where I felt lost. Um, Mm -hmm. I felt like something got to change because I have this, this child, my son probably was maybe, um, maybe three then. And I was like, oh, I got to do better in life. And so at that point I, I, I got involved at church and I just, it, bit by bit, things started coming together, but it's been a work in progress. I mean, that mm-hmm. light bulb, that light bulb you talk about, it's yes, still, it still has to come on. You know, I ain't, I ain't got it figured out yet. You know, but I've gotten better. Praise God, Hallelujah. <laughs> you got better, but yeah, that I mean, that's all part of the process. Yeah, because because you're on the journey. Yeah. So, tell, so let me. I see. Also, let me stop for a moment. I do see that the Tammy has. Thank you. Hey, Tammy. <laughs> thank you for joining us live. I appreciate it. And thank you for sharing this out as well um, to your friends and followers as well. So tell, tell us, what do you decide to become like a motivational speaker? Okay, so let me tell you about this. Let me tell you what happened, right? Mm-hmm. So about, about almost this year, be two years ago, I was in my car 
mind you, I'm a single parent, right? And so I had graduated from college. I just had my first professional job outside of college. And so I had used that money because, you know, I used that money to get on my feet. And then my son Mm -hmm. had decided that he wanted to go buy some shoes. And he thought his mom was going to spend a whole lot of money for some shoes. And so I just thought it would be funny for me to share, you know, my experience with, you know, people about the shoe situation with my son. And I posted, mm-hmm. I posted the video just being funny and the video went viral. Like it had like over 5 million views. And I was like, what? You know, it just, it was one of those things that just kind of, it just kind of happened. Um, yes. But from that, it's like, I got so much support and push from people like, girl, I feel you. I ain't spent no $200 on those no shoes neither. Or, you know, I'm a single mom too. And that just kind of pulled a lot out of me that I didn't even know I had because it was like people started relating to me. And it was like, oh, well, you, you, you ain't, you ain't, you a single mom too. You ain't spent $200 on shoes neither. And it was just people, it was more like people kept pushing me. I mean, I've always been a big mouth. I've always been a talker, but I think it got to a point mm-hmm. where people started pushing me um, and people were letting me know that the videos that I was, cause then I started doing more videos. And people mm-hmm. were saying, oh, well, we appreciate it or we can relate to it. And it just kind of happened. It wasn't like I went to school for it. It wasn't like, you know, when I was a little girl, I was dreaming about being a motivational speaker. It was really one of those things that just kind of happened. Yeah, that's something that's in you. Yeah. That's in, that's, one of, that's one of your kids. Yeah, that's something that you can't, you can't hide. It. No, you can't. And I know also that you in church, that you're, you're in the choir. Yeah. And also in the yeah. So that's so thinking, that that that's just you. And I think, and, and I think that's what happens. Myself. I think that's <laughs> what happens. You know, sometimes we find our purpose in the accidents that we make, the mistakes that we make. And I think we spend exactly. so much time avoiding things when the things that we avoid or the things that we are afraid from are the very things that God has called us to. You could not have told me that I would be doing inspirational videos. I would be hosting a show. I would be hosting events. You couldn't have told mm-hmm. me, but when I let God, when I when I just let myself be free and trusted yes. the process, God did the rest of it. I'm just here. Yes. You know, I'm just being myself. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's my two cents. <laughs> <laughs> now y'all, you can go way more than that because I, I, I like how I'm kind of really wrapped up. I just, yes, I, honey. I, that's I mean, just let it. Fly. It's fine. Just let it flow. <laughs> well, tell us about your giveaway for anyone who's interested. My, my what now? Your giveaway that you're going to have. All right. So I have this show called Couch Combos with Shakira. Um, and basically, my my heart was, you know, as a Christian, I think a lot of times we don't talk about things that really happen with us. I think the thing about Christianity sometimes is that we are trained to be fake. I hate to say it. But it's more like yeah. if you're supposed to be trusting God, you're not supposed to be going to do anything. And that's not true. That is far from true. So it's like you can trust God, but you're still a human. And so the show um, last year, I thought about it and I was like, I want to bring people I wanted to bring people together to talk about real life stuff. Yes, we're Christians. Yes, we trust God. But we're human. Mm-hmm. And let's talk about it. Let's talk about sex before marriage. Let's talk about, you know, you being in church, but you still smoking weed. Let's talk about you being gay. Let's talk about you being molested. Let's talk about you being raped. It's real life stuff. You human. Yes. So yes. I started the show in my home. And then a couple of other, there was a couple who approached me about being sponsors for the show. And they helped me move the show inside of an actual location. And so um, we have a show once every month. And we choose people to talk about their things they're going through. Last month, we talked about depression. It was a really good show because we were able to be vulnerable. It's an atmosphere that we just show. We take our masks off and we show ourselves. And we're not judged. We're not ridiculed. We are just allowed to be people. Um, and so Absolutely. Um, mm-hmm. we had the show last month called Don't, Don't Tell Me to Get Over It, I'm Depressed. And so this mm-hmm. year we have this month, um, in honor of Valentine's Day and relationships and all that kind of good stuff, we have this show called um, we have a gentleman named by the name of Todd Taylor who's gonna talk about relationship do's and don'ts and marriage and stuff like that. So the giveaway for that is a free ticket. 
God bless you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> a free ticket to sit in couch trouble. Now I've seen the setup. Yes. And I've seen the pictures and the, everything she has like the lighting and the couch. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's a nice setup. Well, everything uh, Lydia Harris, um, she is the owner of Cloud Makers. And um, she's a sponsor for the show. We all work. She and her husband, Chris Harris, all of us work together. Um, but she does a lot of the decorating for the show. And like I said, I've I've had people who have. And let me just put this little plug in here. Whenever mm -hmm. God gives you something, he's going to send people to help push the thing out. He's going to send you. It doesn't oh, yeah. mean you're not going to have issues. But he's going to send people who are going to selflessly offer things to you because he has something for you to do. And so. It's been to a point now that people have come to me asking me, can they do things for me for free? And I'm like, mm -hmm. for free? But that's just what it is. When God tells you to do something, he's going to supply what it is that you need to get it done. That's just my That's opinion. right. He's going to supply your need. Mm -hmm. He's going to be with you. He's not going to put something in you and leave you out there hanging. Mm -mm. And there's like no response, no effect, no nothing. Mm -mm. That ain't how it works. No. Mm -mm. No, the Lord doesn't work like that. No. So that that is absolutely awesome. You actually answered one of my questions. I was going to ask you how did all that come up. I do remember um, on Instagram you went live, mm -hmm. and you had the ladies in the house, and you were talking about single single moms. Yeah, yeah. Single parent, and that was something that was real touching. And yeah. you could see the the after effect of when the ladies were talking. That was like a moment of frequency. Yeah, and so I, I kind of get a feel that couch problems. I know you deal with like um, with dating mm -hmm. on the show, and I know you have some cooks on the show. So when is that the, the atmosphere you try to create with those who come in and watch the show? Yeah, I try to. The, my idea of couch combos is a place to have fun, a place to be safe, not a place where mm -hmm. we ain't now we ain't been over and, and drinking no no we ain't smoking no weed and drinking no alcohol. We, it's really clean fun. You know, it's fun. You come in, we have a good time. We laugh and joke. Uh, we do date. We have a dating segment. We send people on blind dates. Some, uh, some of them mm -hmm. work really well. Some of them don't work so well at all. Some of them are a nightmare, you know. But you trial and error, you know. You live and learn. But it is fun. It is fun. So, oh, thanks for that little link there. I like that. That's fancy. Okay. Oh, yeah. I put the link. In there for those who are interested in getting tickets. Yeah. Just in case you don't win the giveaway. Yeah. Those who get interested in having tickets and going to her show, she does do it on Sundays. Yes. Um, I, I've been like, what I do, if I'm not able to some, actually sit there and support, yeah. I try to share her post out. Yes. Out. yes. And another yes. way I can support this young lady is to bring her on the show and let her get some information. What she's doing, she's helping other people. Thank you. And, you know, ministry, you cannot be selfish. Yeah. You, you cannot can. be selfish. You That's can. not ministry. Mm -hmm. So when you have young women stepping up and saying, look, I'm not perfect, but mm -hmm. I'm here to help. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's what I see in you. That's mm -hmm. what I see in Shakira. That's and so um, I do see hey, Grace. That's another supporter. Hey, Grace. Hey, hey, girl. Thank you. For and I'm just watching us from Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, no, you didn't miss Atlanta. Much, she says she knows. <laughs> you didn't miss too much. But I want to thank everyone who is coming in and those who are going to share this out. And also, I got to give props to those viewers. Because sometimes you can't come in live, but when they go back and they watch it, yeah. I thank you so much for watching. Yes. So, Shakira's having a giveaway. She's giving away a free time for anyone who is interested. Now, as for me, that's because the is, is having a giveaway as well. You have a chance to win her giveaway as well as mine. So what you have to do is like the page, share the page out. Not the page, I'm sorry. Share the broadcast out. So she can get more exposure. More people can get to know who this young lady is. Thank y'all And so then we just do a random job. Yeah. And so whoever wins, I'll put it on the page. And then you, you probably think, okay, what am I going to do? I give you like a fifty dollar gift card from that sophistication routine. So that means, what if you see something on your web on my website? I don't like it. Well, that's fine. It doesn't expire. Oh. So if I put something else up there and you like it, you get fifty dollars off. Oh. This is this is I believe in. If someone does something for you, yeah, you gotta that's reciprocate. Yeah. You gotta do something for them. 
That's so and and you know it's it's free. It's right. There's it's free to help people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what the bougie gives, girl. Miss Jack. Look at her old <laughs> and let me take a moment and hi Lache. She was on the show last week. Thank you for, for coming hi, in. And look at Grace. Grace loves that idea. Yes, know, Grace. Right. Me too, Grace. Me too. Everybody loves everybody loves to, to receive. But you know, yes. one important thing. Thank you, Lache. One important thing we know the Lord tells us to be to give. Mm-hmm. If we give, it shall be given. Yes, 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 you know, and that includes, of course. So I know it's a, you're, I mean, I can say we all can relate to the tithe and offering section too. How you know, we waver and we're not going to those areas. But when God straighten us, yes. say, you need to do my part. Yes, you start giving. Yes, see all that, all that matters, all that adoration. Here I see there's someone else that's coming later. If you can um, comment on what city and state you're watching us from and share this out so she can know that you're here and then it also can kind of highlight your comment and highlight your city and state as well. And thank you also for watching us live. I greatly appreciate it. So now, Shakira, I know you're a motivational speaker. Mm-hmm. And I like that graph that you put together that said that she's now accepting bookings. I mean, she just dropped it on Facebook. Said boom. <laughs> yes. And so, what is your what's your your target audience? Are you, if someone calls you mm-hmm. or contact you and say, "Can I come speak at my event?" Is there a particular audience that you prefer to talk to, or you just talk to anybody? I I'm a I'm the kind of person I talk to anybody. Okay, the kind of person mm-hmm. I talk to anybody. But I think my heart is really for people who have hit an all time low. Like if you are a person who is like sis i quit at life i'm the person to talk to hey lachey nice to meet you too sweetie <laughs> i'm i'm i think the person that the people i relate to are the people who are considered the underdog the people who mm-hmm. are, are ready to quit in life the people who are oftentimes overlooked or you know singled out i usually connect easily with those kind of people um and i connect with people mostly more than anything who are ashamed of what they've been through, who are, you know, feel like right. maybe they're not wanted or welcome because of what they've done or um, things like that. But I would pretty much talk to anybody, anybody. That's good. So it's more than just, it's more than just like um, teenagers. Oh, yeah. It's more than just women who are, who are like moms. It's more than just Eating in relationship, you're yes. able because that's so I want people to know if you're interested in getting this young lady, she's very diverse. Yeah, okay, I try very to diverse. <laughs> she's very diverse. So, I, I so feel free to contact her if they want to contact you and reach out to you. They can get your, is it on Facebook? Or they can message me on Facebook. Um, message me on Facebook. I'm gonna do better with updating my stuff. Like I said, I um, this is this is new. You know how your degree is in business. I'm like, mm-hmm. I'm here. You know, I'm here. So I'm I'm working on trying to be more have more of a polished look and um, just putting everything together in a way. I've gotten a lot of people reach out to me, ask me to come to events, and I have an mm-hmm. event to speak at. I'm, I mean, I'm doing things, but it it comes a point where you have to start taking things more seriously and really embracing the person you're becoming. I think that's also been a challenge for me. Because sometimes yes. we, yeah. we outgrow a season in our life and we don't mm-hmm. realize it. And we're still trying to identify with the person that we used to be when God is creating us to be somebody else. And so I'm still trying to work on who I am and not who I used to be. Yes. Okay? So just reach out to me yes. on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. That's part of your journey. Yeah. And so the thing is, you're... You're still working on you, and you're comfortable with it. You're mm-hmm. comfortable with sharing, mm-hmm. and you you're very transparent on, on Facebook and Instagram. Mm-hmm. And that is that's very important. If you're going to you be a motivational speaker, is very important. you're going to do ministry. You have to open up and kind of and and meet them on their doorstep. Yes, hit them in the yes. 
Because don't nobody have to like, when you're hurting and you want to do I'm going to be a witness. I, I don't have time for like this possibility. Yeah, I ain't got time. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. It's like coming down the earth. Mm-mm. Understand where I'm coming from. And that's you put your drawers on the same way I do. I might wear exactly. Walmart drawers <laughs> and you might wear Victoria's Secret, but we both wear drawers. Okay. Exactly. Draw, I mean, draw. it can come from Walmart. It's yeah. the, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. You still got to put it in the next Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Y'all see why I love this hearing. I love, I, we, we try to behave ourselves. I love, I love Shakira. I love how, how open you are. Now, Shakira. Okay. You did like a little dating thing, mm-hmm. like a match. Mm-hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. Is somebody action for it? Or is yeah. it something you decided to do? Well, it, okay. It was something that I decided to do, but I have a, I've had people also ask me to help match make them. And I'm going to tell you something. It is fun as I Mm -hmm. don't know what. It's fun because most people don't go on blind dates. I don't think I've ever, I've been catfished before, but I ain't never been on a blind date. Um, Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's fun because people don't have any control over who we pair them with. (laughs) Yes, Lachey draws and draws. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> we don't have they don't have <laughs> they don't have any control over who we pair them with we kind of get an idea i let you talk yeah, to right. what you like but when it comes down to it i'm trying to help you meet somebody that may not be the person you might pick immediately and you might overlook mm-hmm. a jewel a gem because you're looking for a type, yes you know so yes mm-hmm. but i've experienced some difficulty in that some people ain't honest that they're not ready to be in a relationship you know what i'm saying but you know, that's life. You just went through it. Keep it moving. Exactly. Because I was going to talk to you just a little bit about it. Because I don't want to turn this into like a like a relationship thing. Because I yeah. know your upcoming show is going to be talking about relationships, yes. actually. Yes. The guests that you have. I'm going to give you space to talk about that guest. So anyone who may not know who he is, you get a little bit more information. You may even sit not there. Yes. You never know. But what do you think it's like Valentine's Day? Now, I, I know that's uh, one time you did a Facebook video went live and you was talking about not set. Mm-hmm. Don't set. And you mm-hmm. were talking about how if a guy don't contact you, if you don't call him back, why are you doing crazy over somebody yes. that, that's don't not you. Even, give you the same amount of love or attention? Yes. Yes. That that hit home. Yeah. Now we know we we talk from our experience. Yes. You know. But, yes. but what what was it that caused you to, to pull out into your, your audience like that? I like I like stuff like that. I like yes. to hear. Well, first of all, I don't been there, girl. I have chased almost every man up and down this county. You hear me? Almost every <laughs> I have chased them, honey. Chased them. You would have thought I was dog on triathlete. I don't chase these men around so much. And sometimes mm-hmm. you get to a point that you have to say, wait a minute, you don't want me. Right. And that's okay. Right. I don't have to be your pick, but it doesn't mean that somebody, God don't have somebody for me. And I think, you know, I spoke from a place because there's nothing worse than, you know, sometimes I see women and I see myself. And I'm like, mm-hmm. I didn't get it then, but I get it now. So I'm going to tell you as a sister, Honey, go somewhere and sit down because that man don't want you. He don't want you because he's showing you. I think sometimes as women, we try to dr- justify what we see. Oh, well, maybe, you know, mm-hmm. he just went through a lot in his past or he don't know how to love. He don't know how to show affection. No, no, you're wrong. Okay. You got some mm-hmm. men who struggle, but for the most mm-hmm. part, this right. man is designed to hunt by nature. He's designed to provide. He's mm-hmm. designed to go get. If he wants you, he's going to go get you. And if he don't want you, he ain't going to go get you. And that's okay. Exactly. But you can't. And I think one thing we do as women is we internalize that as being something wrong with us. Maybe it's yes. something wrong with me because he don't want me. Maybe my hair ain't long enough. Maybe my booty ain't big enough. Maybe my lips ain't fat enough. You know what mm-hmm. is it? And we and it don't mean anything. He may not. He may not want you, but somebody does. And the most important person needs to want you is you. You need to love yourself. No, you need to love yes. yourself. Yeah, and you know what, Shakira, that is your area. 
Mm -hmm. That's the area when you start talking, you can just see something like stand up inside. Mm -hmm. That that's real. because now you, you have to look at yourself and you can turn around and say, "Look, well, don't do this. Don't do that." And that and that that part of you that you did anybody just see that? You see what I'm talking about? Look, Grace just Grace left the comment. <laughs> she said, "Come on now, speak." Look, honey, I'll be trying to help. Talking about. Let me try and save my sisters. I'll be putting my ass on my chest. I'm coming to your rescue. <laughs> and Veronica Jenkins, thank you for joining. She said talent. See, when you talk like that, mm -hmm. that's where that empowerment comes mm -hmm. in. Because everybody can relate to that. It's not mm -hmm. to feel bad about it. It's no. to grow up and mature yes. and get better. But then even look, even Lachey said, she said hey. Amen. 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 <laughs> and it's so she, to be tell us about now. your guest. Like he's you, know, you brought a guest that is speaker would be interesting as well on oh yeah so his name is Todd Taylor he's an author he does a mm -hmm. lot with um juveniles his wife has a publishing country company called Taylor Made they are just a great family they are they are a great depiction of African American love I'm not saying wow. they're perfect I don't know the relationship personally but I know that there's no perfect couple but when I tell you these people pull it together and I love how they, they have a boy and a girl and I love how they put their children in positions of greatness. Mm -hmm. You know, they, the kids writing books. I mean, the little girl can't be no more than 10 and she up here, she's an author. I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. and I just love seeing that it just challenges us as people to not settle, but to strive more. But Mr. Taylor, he, every time I see him, he's smooth. You know what I'm saying? You know he loves his wife, but he like real chill. You know what I'm saying? And I always mm -hmm. wanted to hear a perspective from a man who loves his wife, who is fighting for his relationship. I always want to hear their take on relationships because I don't think we see enough men who love their wives, who love their children. And that's why as single women, we don't think it's possible. That's why as single women, we give up and we settle for being a side chick, which I have been. Um, because we do not believe that it's possible for us to have someone who loves us um, completely. Like Jesus loves the church. That's right. They found the purpose with each other. They have become a team. They have united. Mm -hmm. They have been up front. They are a force together. And I think it's beautiful to see. So I wanted him to talk from a, a uh, it's, I wanted him as a man who loves his family. You don't hear about him in the streets hopping around. I want to hear from him what his journey has been like and what made him want to be committed to his wife and family. You know what I'm saying? Yes. People don't realize that as, as young women, that's what we like. Yeah. That's that's what, that's what we're looking for. We're not looking for something that, that hops around. We want to feel like you're happy Secure. with us. Yes. We just work. You know, you get tired of, of the reruns. You get a lady tired of the reruns. God knows. <laughs> you I don't watch so many reruns. Like, give me something different. Yes. Where he's at? Where's the ram in the bush? Yes. You know, something. Don't so that, I'm, I'm so glad that you, you, you grabbed the thing on your show. It's so fitting for this month. It's Black History Month. And yes. it's, of course, it's like a little after five times. Yeah. But still, show for yeah. what true love is. Yes. But before, as, as African Americans, we had the Obama. Mm -hmm. They were a perfect example. Everybody mm -hmm. needs an example, example. Of, of the truth. Yes. I mean, don't, don't you agree with you? Yes. I, I think, you know, you need to see some. I think when you see it, it becomes mm -hmm. possible for you, you know? Because some of us, mm -hmm. like, I didn't, my daddy wasn't in the home with me. So I had mm -hmm. to learn about men. My brother, my brother really helped raise me. But he went away to the military. But he loves his wife, you know. But you need to be able to see that there are men who are faithful, who love their woman, who support their woman, so that you can believe it's possible for you. So you don't yeah. see that all men cheat, that all men lie, that all men beat women. You need to see that, no, there is a man who respects his wife, who honors his covenant. You need to be able to see that so you can believe it for yourself, sis. Yes, absolutely. We know what to look for. Yes. And see, this is, you know, see why I had to grab you here. I'm so, I'm so glad that you accepted the offer to I'm be on the show. I'm glad I'm, you had me. I'm so glad because we need somebody, we need a voice. And sometimes we need the, the more young women. Mm -hmm. I don't care how old you are. 
Mm -hmm. you know, that are different from what we see trending, mm -hmm. that is different from what we see on the mainstream, present something different to this yes. girl. Yes. And I mean, the, 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 the making of a woman, the making of a, of, of, I call it the lady boss. Yes. That's why I call it the lady boss. I like it. Because then I can see this season, a lot of women are like standing up. Yes. <laughs> Girl, they're out. really standing up and walking with grace yes. and with authority. Yes. And so I want to I wanna definitely encourage anyone who watches this, who watches us live or watching the replay, feel free to you know, to connect with Shapira yeah. and get to know her a little more. And if you know, even people for your events, you see what what Grace said. She said, one of my many reasons I do much much respect and honor my dad. Yes. yes. A great Perfect. It's an honor when well, you yeah. have a man that, that stands up and actually be a man. <laughs> don't you throw that phone, Lachey? Him. Don't you throw that phone, Lachey? She said she about to do her. <laughs> girl, you done took somebody a kiss, girl. Uh, I'm glad you like it. Thank oh, you, Lachey. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. And then I'm, I'm so glad, ladies, for coming in, great. Everyone that that is has commented. If you have any questions for Shakira, feel free to leave it in the comments that she can ask you even after the show. You know, mm -hmm. feel free to connect with her and talk. Yeah. Her. And then also, Shakira, tell them before we leave, but there's some that came in kind of late. Yeah. So they didn't hear about your giveaway. Okay. So we can repeat that for us. So I have this talk show called Couch Combos. And basically, mm -hmm. we talk about life issues, like relationships, like depression, like sex before marriage. Would y'all be surprised that 80% of people have sex before marriage? It's a lot of humping going around. You know what I'm saying? But it's real mm -hmm. life that we talk about as believers, and we process it, and we get it out, and we talk about what's right, what's wrong. We normally have a clinical therapist there. Um, Lanika Bimbo works with us a lot. Um a faith-based counseling, shameless plug. Um, but she um, she kind of helps funnel, you know, truth through clinical experience. So I'm giving away a free ticket to the show. So if you're in the yeah. pit, you got me in Pitt County, though, because I can't find right. unless you're going to drive. And if you're going to drive, I ain't down. Right. You have to be, it's like it's in North Carolina, if it's Pitt County. Now, you, have, you know a lot of people. I mean, it may not seem like it. This young lady, I'm like, I can ask you something too. Shakira, how the world you get fifteen thousand and close to Girl, when I tell you, I don't know. Honey, you I don't know where these people came from. God knows where folks <laughs> came from. I don't know, child. I'm telling you, I don't know where it came from. But I, but you know, I tell you, some of the biggest people, Grace, you will ever meet. Um, in your life will be the, the greatest support will often come from people who you don't know. And I tell you, people who I oh, don't yes. know have been some of my greatest supporters. People I've never met before a day in my life. Never. Yeah, Lachey, I can... bad grace. Lachey, y'all find me on social media. I ain't bound. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very approachable person. So just mm -hmm. find me on social media. I'm cool. I'm cool. We cool. We can do what we need to do. Okay. So Lachey, she she asked a question. We just was doing the online questions, and you know, just hit her up. Just hit me up. Just contact her on social media. See what I'm talking about, Shakira. See how See, you don't touch somebody. See, look what you did. You got me on this show, and now I'm connected with somebody else. You see how that works? Yeah. Look at it. That's look the that power goal. of collaborating. That's what we're supposed That's to what do. That's what we're supposed to do. That's what we're supposed to do. <laughs> That's, That's exactly what we're supposed to do. And then let me make sure I don't want to overlook anyone comments. She said, "Oh, she said, why well, I got to get involved with that? Are you want the her show couch combos and shit? I'll make sure I know what you're talking about." And Veronica, thank you for watching us. Oh, Miss Veronica, said, you, you are so me. sweet. I love you, Miss Veronica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and let's say today she's going to she's definitely going to be checking you out. I'm so glad to share one of my church family members with everyone because I know you. A lot of people don't, don't know her. Some ladies didn't know you. So I'm I'm so glad to bring you guys together. Thank and you. And I for want to see the and Shakira. I want to being in that online conference. Y'all gonna do? Okay. I don't, I don't know what we got planned, but I do want to be watching. Okay. At least from the side. 
Okay, okay. Lachey is talking about Count to get more information about cash okay. combo. Okay, okay, okay. And thank you, Grace, for your comments. She said this is phenomenal. This is thank you, Grace. You're so sweet. Thank you. And I got. I want to make sure I highlight. I'm not the least thing about it. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Miss Bessie. Bessie, for your. <laughs> you fly, girl. You fly, Miss Bessie. <laughs> <laughs> this has been so. I want to hold everyone off because I know it's like it's in the evening. Everyone got got different things they need to mm -hmm. wrap up. But thank you so much for being on Blade Off. It's also going to be shown on Periscope as well. Okay. And be uploaded on YouTube. And because I want people to get to know the ladies that put on this show. This yes. is just the beginning. Yeah. This is just the beginning. So okay, I got to reach back with the guest that I'm going to be having next week. They're going to be having next week. She is a gospel artist. Come on here. She is a rising gospel artist. So I definitely, I got to check that word. Sure, her was crippled for I put her graphics and everything on the show. Yes, sir. So, if you, if you have anything you would like to say, anything you want to let us know before no, we get to the No, I thank you for having me. Like, this is really cool. I'm I'm grateful that you share your platform with other people and you give women opportunity to um, shine. Mm -hmm. And it don't take away nothing from you. That's what a woman does. That's what a sister does. She said, yes. hey, let me fix your crown. Let me help you look good because we're going to look good together. Yes. So kudos to you, sis. Crown. Go, sis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not like that. I'm not, I just feel there's so much room. There's plenty of room for all of us. Yes. There's no need to, you know what I'm saying? You try to hold each other back. No, no need. No need. I'm, I'm not like that. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Michelle, for your endurance. I see your yes. comments. Yes, yes, y'all have been great. Until next so week, fun. we'll be right here again. Everything, everything goes well for the Lady Ball Show. Thank you for everyone supporting the Lady Ball Show. There's yes. four to come. Because March, I'm completely booked. And you guys will be surprised what's coming up on the Lady Ball Show in March. Come so on stay here. tuned. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.